Signature Bank marks the third largest bank failure in U.S. history. Silicon Valley Bank was the nation's 16th largest, but after a rush of investor withdrawals, the bank has now collapsed. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank is causing shockwaves across the entire business world. Investors continue to worry about the health of the global banking system. There um, are recent developments that concern a few banks. Banking industry, which is often described as too big to fail, might have gotten into a big trouble. It seems like a recession in form of banking crisis has just started. A potential 2008 might be loading once again. Banks have started failing. And by banks, I don't mean any small banks. We're talking about the biggest banking institutions in America. Since the start of 2023, the entire banking system has been crumbling. People have started withdrawing money out of their bank accounts in fear of losing their capitals. America's 16th largest bank, Silicon Valley Bank, has been shut down by the authorities. The depositors are running towards the bank to withdraw their funds. But the authorities have restricted their access to their money. About half of all VC-funded startups in the US are customers of Silicon Valley Bank, which means that around 65,000 startups won't be able to meet their payroll anytime soon. Even one of the world's most renowned investor, Bill Ackman, seems to be in panic mode. Bill Ackman took to Twitter to speak against the authorities for not letting Silicon Valley Bank depositors withdraw their funds. He asked the government to bail out the Silicon Valley Bank. As of January 2023, Silicon Valley Bank had a total of $185 billion in deposits. According to Axios, Silicon Valley Bank faced the biggest bank run in the history of banking system. But what is a bank run? A bank run occurs when a large number of depositors start withdrawing their money at the same time in fear that the bank is about to fail. Remember that all banks follow fractional banking system in which they keep around 10% of the depositors' money in liquid form and use the rest to make new loans. Silicon Valley Bank also followed the fractional banking system, but somehow their customers lost trust in them and within 48 hours, the bank collapsed, mainly due to the bank run. Regulatory authorities stepped in, they shut down the bank and decided not to let people withdraw their money. But there are still absurd people like Jim Cramer who are suggesting the public to invest more in Silicon Valley Bank. It's clear as day and night that some powers just don't want the banking system to fail. They want to keep us slave to this absurd banking system. To do that, they place people like Jim Cramer to make us believe this system. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank has raised some serious questions, because just two weeks before the collapse, the bank CEO sold 11% of his shares, CFO sold 32% of his shares, while the CMO sold 28% of her shares. Companies which partner with Silicon Valley Bank are now struggling to meet their payrolls. Roku's $450 million are now stuck at SVB. Another major company, Roblox, has also got $150 million stuck at the bank. Etsy has also halted payments to its vendors due to SVB's collapse. The bad news is that the contagion is not just a Silicon Valley bank. On March 12th, Signature Bank was shut down by Feds. The bank had total assets of $118 billion. Signature Bank is now America's third biggest bank failure in the history of our banking system. Banks have started failing one after the other, a clear sign that a new recession is just around the corner. Another major bank, First Republic Bank, is also facing a similar crisis. Stock price of First Republic Bank is down by 70%. Despite having $70 billion in unused liquidity, First Republic Bank is still expected to meet the same fate as Silicon Valley Bank. Depositors are just afraid of losing access to their money, which is why the trend of withdrawals is expected to continue at all banks. Almost all banks are losing money on Wall Street. America's top four banks have lost a combined market value of $70 billion since the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. Bank of America is down 16%, Credit Suisse is down 14%, JP Morgan is down 7.8% and Morgan Stanley also fell hard by 11%. Remember that Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation FDIC, insures deposits up to $250,000. Anything above that remains uninsured. U.S. banks have well over $1 trillion worth of uninsured deposits, which belong to people like you and me. If things go south from here, just like 2008, we might end up losing our capitals. 
If you were to counterfeit some US dollars at home right now, you could be punished with 20 years in prison with a fine up to $250,000. Yet in the world of finance, banks are not only able to print more and more money, but they're also encouraged by the government to do so. Banking is one of the least understood businesses around the world and yet banks are the places where people willingly dump their life savings. The more you dig into the banking system, the more absurd you realize it really is. Absurdness of the banking system is making people realize the true potential of cryptocurrencies. The global market cap of all cryptocurrencies has reached over $1.2 trillion. And these $1.2 trillion, which was supposed to be deposited in bank accounts, now sit inside crypto wallets. A clear indicator that people are not trusting the banks anymore.